Traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden back again with another free real life stock review for Real Life Trading Australia. Trust you guys are having an amazing week so far. And let's take a look at what's happened today. So the SPY, I mean, there's not a lot that's happened. Realistically, we've just had a retest gap, gapped up, white candle gapping up, which is currently retesting. So from here, guys, we are actually building a very, very nice support level. And I do expect us to start to slowly bounce out of here. If you take a look at the weekly chart, um, we do have a very nice inside day bearish candle. Very, very pivotal level um, right now at around, at around 283 or 284. If we start to break these levels, if we start to break these levels around here, most likely we will start to trade down to at least the lows back at the end of May and the start of June. Uh, however, right now we seem to be holding up quite nicely. If you take a look at the E-minis, the ES, we currently do have a nice little bullish candle inside day as we speak. So from here, we still haven't closed below the 200 on the daily chart either. So just bear that in mind, even though the markets have been a little bit bearish and very, very choppy, um, there's no real signs at the moment that we are just going to crumble lower as all these supports are holding up. Let's take a look at the Qs, ticket symbol QQQ still below the 100 simple moving average on the daily chart. And once again, we just had a retest gap. So gapped up, white candle gapping up to the 100 and currently are retesting. So if we do trade a little bit lower, I would be looking for a bounce around 183.19. And I do expect us to slowly, slowly grind higher. Here's the Dow Jones, uh, the ticker symbol DIA. And right now, once again, we are still staying above the 200 and we are just sandwiching right in between, you know, these 100 and 200 simple moving average. So not a whole lot happening, a little bit of chop around there at the moment, but overall still very neutral on the markets. Let's take a look at Etsy. So Etsy had a very, very nice pullback. As you can see from the highs, uh, back in July, we have pulled back around 25%. So long term, this is a brilliant company to own. Um, if you take a look at the weekly chart, this is just an absolute gorgeous trend. If you were looking to buy, you could look to buy off the 100 on the weekly chart, which is around 43. Um, so if you were to do some put sales, maybe around $43 or $40, that would be a very nice buying location. But long-term guys, I know this is a brilliant pullback, um, but we are starting to get some support come in uh, right about 52.26. So this is a brilliant pullback and just look to be long on Etsy. Here's Tesla. And Tesla still just hanging around this level here at the 618, still has not closed below this level. So I do expect us to probably maybe start to double bottom and trade higher from here. If we did start to break these lows, guys, we most likely will definitely trade back down to, uh, you know, 177 back at the end of May. But Tesla, brilliant company. Um, very innovative and definitely look to buy the dip long term. Let's take a look at Square, another long term opportunity buying location right now. So, as we speak on the weekly chart, we are currently at the 100 and we have not been here before. Um, so, realistically, we need to stay above the 100 on the weekly chart. I'm not bearish on this company. I do love this company long term. And uh, we could very likely just maybe close below this level and then slowly bounce out of here like we did back here in May. That is what I am expecting uh, to happen. If the markets do start to recover a little bit, I definitely do see Square moving higher. And we have got a few bearish candles and a few very ugly looking gaps here. So right now I think that SQ is just building up a little bit more pressure and most likely if we do start to get a gap up 
above these candles, I think Square will most likely start to fill this gap and trade higher. Here's Momo reporting earnings today, uh, which was a retest gap. And we still are struggling to close above this wedge. So right now, I do think that Momo will continue to trade sideways. If we, it's only a matter of time right now that Momo will, I'm sorry, that Momo will trade between this, between this range before we do slowly break out and move higher. Take a look at the weekly chart. We have been staying above the 200 uh, simple moving average on the weekly chart. So guys, I am bullish on this company. And right now we are most likely just going to slowly grind sideways, but definitely keep your eyes in the next month or two for a breakout of this wedge. Let's take a look at Autodesk. Now, Autodesk actually reported earnings after hours. There are going to be a few people trapped, especially after this candle and this volume. So maybe just look for a little bit of a flash love. Take a look at the five minute. We are gapping down to 134 and we have created a cute little double bottom right here at 132. Okay, now that does not surprise me in the least as this is a very good support level at 132. If you take a look at the daily chart, uh, sorry, if you take a look at the, oh no, the weekly chart, sorry, take a look at the weekly chart. Uh, that 132 level is based off this large candle right here, this resistance right here, and all this support along here. So if we do get a flash lower and we do gap below 135 there most likely will be a quick flash lower to about 132 but then definitely look to buy the dip as this is a dip buying opportunity we have had a decent pullback from the highs um right now if we go if we open at 135 this will be a 25 percent pullback so great buying opportunity long term this is a very healthy trend uh and we have not yet come back down to the 200 i don't think that's going to happen. We do have a lot of support here in the way. So most likely Autodesk will fade higher tomorrow at the end of the day. Let's take a look at the All Lords. And right now on the, on the weekly chart, we do have a bullish inside day candle. Now, if we take a look at the short term moving averages on the daily chart, you know, we are between, we are below all the short term moving averages. Sorry. And on the long-term moving averages, we are at the 100 and we are creating somewhat of a inverted head and shoulders pattern right now. I do think that we will start to slowly grind higher. Uh, we have chopped around here for just over a month now. And I do expect this to be a very nice, healthy dip buying opportunity. So all lords, I know we are a little bit choppy at the moment. Just look to buy the dip. And if we do break out of this cute little trend here. Uh, I do expect us to slowly bounce and go back to the new or go back to the old all time highs. Here's Wise Tech Global, WT, WTC and we are just getting green day after green day after green day. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green days in a row. Uh, eight or nine green days in a row and this is just looking absolutely bullish. I was talking about WTC back here as a buying opportunity. So I hope a lot of you guys did take the opportunity to take this thing long. Uh, but WTC right now is definitely not the time to buy as this is a all time high today. So there probably will be some selling coming in. Um, I'm just waiting for the top to come in at, as we speak and then I'll look for a short term shorting opportunity and then I'll look to buy the dip. Here's Altium, ticker symbol ALU, another one that we spoke about for the last couple of months, um, that this is going to be a very nice buying opportunity. If you did take Al Altium long, well done. We are coming back into the all-time highs. So just expect a little bit of resistance and a little bit of selling to come in. Here's CBA. And right now, we did come back down to the 200. I am expecting us to kind of double bottom out of here. Uh, 
basing that off this resist this support resistance level right here so look for a dip buying opportunity long term if you are buying cba this is still a very good long term buy um but if you are day trading definitely or, or short term swing trading look to buy off the 200 on the daily chart Here's Flight Center, ticker symbol FLT, and we are looking absolutely glorious right now. We have got a very nice trend starting um, back since early May. Uh, we have got this lower band trend line, and we are breaking above the 100 and the 200 simple on the daily, and we have just slowly been trending upwards. So from here, if you are looking to buy or go long um, you can always look to just follow this trend line and look to buy the dip if you're looking at the short term moving averages uh, the 50 simple moving average oh, sorry the 50 EMA will be a very nice buying location as it slowly trends up so keep your eyes on flight center for a dip buying opportunity we are getting a little bit of selling as you can see here uh, so um, there you go, there's Flight Center. Keep your eyes peeled on a short-term dip buying opportunity. Let's take a look at some commodities. Here's US oil or crude oil, and we are getting a little bit more bullish as the days go by. Uh, we haven't still closed above this wedge yet, and I do think it's gonna be any week now that this happens. Uh, I am very bullish on oil. A lot of people buying the dip down here and here, but uh, long-term, I do see oil coming back to around $58 or 58 to $60. This is probably my target on oil. So if you aren't in yet, um, just look to buy the pullback on, on the shorter term, on the shorter time frames like the hourly. Uh, there are some very nice breakout opportunities on crude. Here's gold, finally hit our target the other day uh, back here. Um, I did say that most likely we would come to 1549 and we are there right now. So right now, uh, because we've hit this resistance level, most likely we will see a little bit of a retracement, probably back to about 1500. And then I would definitely look to buy the dip as I do think that we will go higher. Here's dollar index and dollar index very, very sideways at the moment. Um, obviously with the dollar going higher, this is why I expect gold to pull back a little bit. Um, but the dollar index, very, very choppy at the moment. Uh, but if we do get a pullback, oh, sorry, as we do go higher, just expect gold to slowly pull back. If DXY gets back up to 98, 81, look to go long on gold, guys. Here's the Aussie dollar, AUD, USD, getting weaker by the day. Um, we are just channeling here, but we are also creating some lower lows. So from here, I do expect us to slowly but surely break lower. Uh, if I take a look at the monthly chart, most likely uh, we will be trading back down to this support level that we had back in, you know, 2009, which is around 63 cents. 65 is my first target, uh, but definitely I do think that any we could definitely trade between 65 and 63. From there, guys, uh, this is like the all-time lows in the last decade. So um, it's very, very interesting, very interesting times ahead, very different market, very volatile, but very exciting when you know how to play it. Here's GBP CAD. Now I spoke about a long opportunity just the other week, uh, back here on the daily, um, and on the weekly chart, this was a beautiful value area to start legging into a trade, as you can see right here. So if you did take, if any of you forex traders did take this, take this trade long, then well done. I hope you guys are absolutely crushing it. That's all I've got for you today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you want me to review any stocks, tickers on the, a, on the ASX, on the US market or Forex commodities, you name it, leave it in the comment section below. I'll be here back on Thursday with another free real life stock review. And remember, love life, live life and trade it. I'll see you soon. Bye.